fight the plus 240 underdog. Excellent right hand already. You can see Kovalkiewicz is looking to press the action and push the pace. She's always at her best when she can make it a little bit of a blue collar fight, force it in the pocket. But even though she has a reach advantage, she likes to fight inside and close. I think the best attribute of Carolina is that she's not, she never shies to one punch at a time. She very often throws combinations, body head, starts low, ends high, and she mixes her kicks in well. Cadella, a little bit more of the one shot power type of fighter. Also, big explosions to the takedown. Nine combined UFC fights for these women coming in. They have all gone the distance. So for Gedalia, finish would certainly be useful. You could say that about Kovalkiewicz as well. One minute gone by here, round one. I like what Kovalkiewicz is doing with her feet. She's constantly switching stances, constantly bouncing, making herself a difficult target to time and land a takedown. Oh! Pressure on Claudia Gadelia here tonight. The stance switch of Caroline is making it hard for Claudia to be able to time the takedown. She usually waits on the right hand, and because Carolina's switching stance, it's hard to make the read. Plus, she fakes a lot. Plus, she throws a lot of combinations, so it's hard for Gadelia. Doing a nice job getting in and getting out and avoiding the clinch. Oh, double underhooks here over there from Gadelia, and here's where she's able to really wrench people to the ground. This is her number one move right there. She Boom. gets that double underhook and she twists you off the octagon like this every single fight. And then she holds you down, burns the clock, beats you up from the top. Flatten these hips out. She does not want to allow Claudia Gedalia to get the second hook in. That's She's in. Under. Under. That's in. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. There's the catch. How about it? Claudia Gedalia with her first UFC.